Titans softball started off their season 3-1, and one, but could they pick up their fourth win against LMU? Looking for back-to-back -back wins, men's basketball faced UC Davis. See how they did. Then, women's basketball was looking to rebound after a tough loss against UC Riverside. All this and more coming up on this episode of Titan Sports. Welcome back to a brand new season of Titan Sports. I'm Corey Johnson. And I'm Kimberly Cruz. The Titan softball team hosted the Titan Classic this past weekend. After starting out the tournament 3-1, and one, they would face LMU on Sunday. Let's send it over to Nani Garcia, who was there for all of the action. Cal State Fullerton hosts LMU in the final game of the 2020 Titan Classic. Bottom of the third, bases loaded, Kelsey Whitmore rips it past shortstop to score the first run of the game. Titans up 1-0. Bottom of the fourth, Julia Valenzuela with the RBI that will push their lead to 2-0. Top of the sixth, Daisy Muno stretches to hold on to the lead. Titans win 5-0. Thanks, Eileen. With this win, the Titans pick up their fourth win of the season. Freshman Megan Delgadio would start off her college career with a bang, racking up 11 hits in five games. Also, Kelsey Whitmore would supply the power for the Titans, hitting two home runs, including a walk-off home run in Game 2 against San Jose State. Last year, Titan baseball had a disappointing season, finishing one game above 500 and missing the NCAA tournament. As the Titans get ready for their season opener this weekend, Kyle Fulbright and Curtis Redman preview Fullerton's upcoming season in this week's edition of On the Mound. Thank you guys and what's up everybody. Welcome back to another edition of On The Mound. I'm your host Kyle Fulbright and with me today I have Curtis Redman. Curtis, thank you for joining me today. You got it. And softball began their season this past weekend here at Anderson Family Field. But baseball begins their season and quest for another national championship this coming up weekend against Stanford. Well, obviously this past season baseball didn't have the best, one of their worst seasons in program history. How do you see them rebounding this season? What do they need to do to get back on top? Well, this year obviously they got a they had a they had a tough year last year pitching wise. I mean, their ERA was above 4, and anytime your ERA is that high, you know, you're going to have trouble. Luckily for them last year, they were they were one game above 500. It was their it was their worst season ever, I'm pretty sure. They've never been below 500, but they scored a lot of runs, which was why they were still above 500. But this year they got they got a few key guys back. They got some pitchers back, Tanner Bybee, and they got um, Dylan Brown. They, they'll both be solid this year, and they still got a bunch of returners on the offensive side. They're going to swing the bats well. Yeah, definitely. They had a lot of guys going either to the draft or graduating, but they also return a lot of their veterans, and they bring in a good recruiting class. Uh, so speaking of that, they lost some of their tough guys to the MLB draft. They also lost All-American Mitchell Berryhill. How do they replace that production? Well, they got they have their outfield is very young. Aside Mitchell Berryhill leaving, that's going to be a big dent in their outfield. But they got a bunch of guys. They got a few freshmen. I think it's about they have four freshmen in the outfield, two sophomores, um, Isaiah Garcia. He's their well, like their one senior in the outfield. He's going to look. He's going to come. He had a good year last year. He hit like 326. He had a few home runs. I think he led the team in home runs last year. Um, they have one of their freshmen. What's his name? Um, Cameron Rapetti. Yeah, Cameron Rapetti. He's an infielder. But uh, Miguel Ortiz, he's mm -hmm. looking to be <clears throat> one of the top outfielders of the freshman class of the whole conference. I think he was ranked in the top five through all impact freshmen. So he, he'll be a big, a big deal. Yeah, definitely. The, it's an exciting time for them bringing in all these new guys and getting to see uh, what they have. So they're going to get their first look at these new guys this weekend as they face one of their toughest tests of the season, and it's opening up their season as they face number 17 Stanford over at Sunken Diamond up in Palo Alto. How, what do they need to do this weekend to get the season going on the right note? So obviously it all starts with their pitching. You know, if they have a good, a good starting pitching, set the tone, get the bats working, and if they have a good series against Sanford this weekend, it just sets the tone for the whole season because they'll have USC coming up, San Diego State, Arizona State. And if they could set the tone against Sanford, kind of send a message saying, hey, we're back, Titan baseball is back, and they'll get going. Yeah, definitely. And lastly here, their starting pitching staff last season was very young. They had a lot of freshmen and a lot of sophomores. But now as these guys are sophomores and juniors, what do you expect to see from them as they are getting older? I mean, just just a lot of experience, you know. 
uh, Tanner Bybee last year. He had his ups and downs, but you know he's going to compete. He's always going to compete. He wor he loves working late into games. I think a few times he went on beyond the seventh inning, and then also they'll have they'll have some uh, freshmen coming up too. They got uh, Gavin Kennedy. He started in the alumni game and he did pretty good. I mean he struck out Michael Lorenz and he's a pitcher, <laughs> but uh, but hey he's hit a few home runs in the big leagues. He struck him out. That, he got that under his belt. So. Yep. Yeah, definitely. It was pretty impressive to see some of those freshmen in the alumni game facing former major leaguers, current major leaguers, just to see what they got. All right, guys, that's all we have for you today. We'll see this season if Fullerton can put another Big West banner up here at Goodwin Field. I'm Kyle Fulbright with Curtis Redmond. Back to you guys in the studio. After defeating UC Riverside last week, the men's basketball team looked to continue their momentum against UC Davis. Let's check out all the action. In the midst of the Big West Conference, Cal State Fullerton hosts UC Davis at Titan Gym. Beginning of the first half, Rogers Printup launches the three-pointer for UC Davis to give the Aggies the 4-3 lead. Last five minutes of the second half, Wayne Arnold to Vincent Lee, and the big man flushes down the dunk to cut the lead to 3, 70-67. But UC Davis would not go away. Elijah Pepper bounces back and secures the victory. Aggies go on to win 87-81. Meanwhile, the women made a comeback of their own this past Saturday as they defeated UC Riverside 71-61. Taylor Turney led the Titans with 23 points, 5 assists, and 5 steals. Reyna Perez racked up 20 points and 5 assists. Fullerton now have a 4-4 four four record in the Big West and an overall record of 12-9. Spring season sports are upon us. Let's send it over to Melissa Sanchez for this week's game schedule. What's up, Titans? Here are the upcoming games for the next week. Starting with women's golf, they will continue the Battle at the Rock Tournament, and men's golf will continue the Orange County Classic, both on Tuesday. Passing it over to basketball, the women's team will travel to UC Irvine on Thursday and Cal Poly on Saturday. The men's team will also face the Mustangs on Saturday, but at Titan Gym. Swinging it over to softball, they will compete in the Campbell Cartier Tournament Friday and Saturday. Serving it over to tennis, they will travel to San Diego State on Saturday and host St. Mary's on Sunday. The baseball team will lead off their season against Stanford with a three-game series starting on Friday. That's all I have for this week's edition of Titan Timeline. I'm Melissa Sanchez. Kimberly and Corey, back to you. Well, folks, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for tuning in for today's episode. You can watch all of our past episodes and game highlight packages on our YouTube channel. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Instagram at CSUF Titan Sports. And like us on Facebook to stay connected with us. On behalf of all of us here at Titan Sports, I'm Kimberly Cruz. And I'm Corey Johnson. Remember to keep those tusks up, Titans. And, and we'll, we'll see, see you next week. week.